Washing can be so exhausting. Listen, I promise y'all, I'm not dirty, okay? <laughs> what? I'm not dirty. Listen, I'm just now able to get time to wash, okay? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm in the middle. Listen, so be it. It's raining. I'm in the middle of raining. It don't matter. I'm gonna continue to. But, um, hi, right, what's up, my Cypher gang? This is your first time ever clicking my video. Go by the name two times. You call me Zayta. Who ever seen my video ever clicking my... Obviously, I ain't got my English together. If this is your first time ever clicking my video, go by the name two times. Make sure you join this beautiful family by subscribing. I promise you I'm not dirty. I just ain't had a chance to clean, okay? Are you sure about that? I haven't had a chance to clean since I've been at work all the time. That's all I am doing is at work. You can a few moments later. I'm not dirty, okay? Honestly, this is probably the first time I'm off the next day and I'm in the middle, I'm sweating, as you clearly can see. I can get this the way I want it to. So now I'm washing, okay? This, I, I know y'all saw this on the last video on the other video, okay? We like Aaliyah, like I haven't been able to get any washing done because of being an adult. I've been at work and, and I ain't had a chance to wash. And if you call me dirty, your elbows stink. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Um, washing blue. But generally, I'm not even done washing. I already got four and a half loads. Like, dog. Uh, all right. Then, I advise anybody to work out. Work out. Get your body together. Hey, 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 hey. Boy, doing? Um, yeah, man. I don't know. It's like 12 at night, and I just decided to make a video. I'm just like, why not? I got the time to make it. So by the time I had the video started, I'm going to be editing. It doesn't even make sense. By the time the clothes are started, I can edit my video. You see, I can speak English well. Catching my breath. So, um, I don't know if I can fit this right here. I got a lot of stuff I gotta do. Nah, man, I just been, um, I just been working. And throughout the line, I'm, listen, I love talking about Jesus. I love talking about the Bible, man. I, I'm starting to get encountered with certain people. Wait, has this always been a thing or has this been who? I'm so confused. I love talking about people about the Bible. I love talking about Christ. I love hearing people's different experiences about how the Holy Spirit works in them, you know? I am a Christ believer, okay? I'm lukewarm. I'm not a Christian. I'm not saved. I'm not gonna sit up here and sugarcoat things. Being saved and daily repentance. Repent, repent for your sins. Repenting for your sins on a daily basis is very important. And I got some important news. I'm getting baptized. I'm getting baptized on the 26th of this month. So, it's a very special moment for me. You know, I do lean in. I'm nervous. It's not a bad nervous. It's a good way. Because as in the Bible, as it explained, Jesus, he, John baptized Jesus in the Jordan River. John felt unworthy because those were bigger shoes to fill in. I, have, I promise y'all, I'm going to have that. Listen, I like how it just gravitated towards me. Hey, hey. I'm getting baptized this month on the 26th and I'm gonna have that recorded because that is personal for me. That is sentimental for me. And I just feel like I wanna bring y'all here with me. Like this channel, yes, this is a gaming channel. This is the base platform. But at the end of the day, I'm here to, I'm starting to understand this now. Now, people ask you who you are. Like, who am I? I'm Isaiah, like, no. I am a representation. I'm here to serve and worship God, Jesus Christ. I'm here to worship God's son love others how he loved me you know jesus loves me as we speak and i know i'm not right i gotta get right with him i have to sacrifice and get my things together and me being baptized for the first time i i never did it before so i'm nervous about it but i'm excited because i know that's the right way to do it is important and don't just get baptized just to get baptized like actually have meaning meaning behind it like it's personal for me you know I, since I've been down here in the state for a year and a half, I've been really trying to get my life together. I've been really trying to, you know, get to know who God is because when I was in Dayton, Ohio, I really didn't care about the Bible, nor did I even read it as much as I knew now. But at the end of the day, as long as them trumpets don't blow, as long, till them, they, they gonna blow. There's gonna be a time today. Only the father knows when it's the end times. When them trumpets blow, until then, as long as God got me breathing, I'm not giving up on getting saved or getting to know who Jesus is, you know? So at the end of the day, yes, I'm not, the, I'm not, the, I'm not a holy person. Yes, I, I feel like I have a lot of work to do down here. Yes, I'm not saved. 
Yes, I'm a Christian. Yes, I'm trying to be Christian. Like I'm not, I don't want to be a hypocrite. Sometimes I lie, sometimes I get fed up, I'm human. But I know who my Lord is. I know who my Father is. I know that at the end of the day, Jesus is the only one that can wash sins away. Jesus is the only one that can save you. There is no other way to heaven but through Jesus Christ. You have to pick up your cross every day. It's a lifestyle. Being Christian is a lifestyle. It's not just going to church. It's not just praise. It's not just worshiping. Just it's, it's, it's a process. All that is a process. You going to church does not make you a Christian. You saying I believe in Jesus Christ is not. That's just the process. You have to be reborn again. Jesus Christ make all things new. So I didn't got caught up talking. I'm trying to freaking wash. I gotta use my phone to go on this app real quick, so give me a second. Two seconds later. I'm back, y'all. Like I said, as I was just saying, like, I just feel like at the end of the day, everyone, I'm no better than nobody. I am no better than nobody. I am a, I am a sinner saved by grace, you know? You know, at the end of the day, I just feel like I'm different. You know, I do things differently. I'm no better than nobody. I don't. I, I try my best not to judge. You know, at the end of the day, everybody has their own struggles. Everyone has their own temptations. Everyone has their own addictions. Who am me? Who am I to say that you got it? Who am I to judge you and, and see for who you are? Like, let's be real. Like, I'm not homophobic. You know, there. I'm not homophobic. I don't have nothing against gay people. I don't have nothing against trans. You know, I don't have. At the end of the day, that is your lifestyle. That is what God gave us. I, my best, if I can, if I can influence and tell someone about the Bible, like for example, my audience, y'all, I will do that. Like at the end of the day, I'm not gonna sit up here and sugarcoat and lie, you know. Like, just, hold on, hold on. Washer is failing, falling apart in the side. Do not use. Ooh, falling apart on the side. Let me not use that. Um, it's raining out here. And sprinkling. I love weather. I ain't tripping. But yeah, at the end of the day, I just feel like you, we got to get ourselves together. And, and I'm still taking my walk. I'm 22 years old, still taking my walk, you know. Every day is a restart for me. Every day, I feel like how I see this, I feel like God wakes me up. If it's in his will, he wakes me up. If, if it's in his will when I sleep. But I wake up and I just think about it. Like, Jesus loves me. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves all, you know. As much as... He wants, he wants us to come home. He wants us to come to him. As much as disobedience and people that try to deny him, I'm a stubborn person. He still loves me. He wants me to come home and I want to come home to him. I'm still learning, you know, that it's a process. I don't want to rush my process with him. I want to take my walk with Jesus, get to know who I am. Heaven, heaven is not the heaven. Seek the kingdom of God first. Absolutely. The kingdom of heaven, your kingdom is at hand. But at the end of the day, heaven is not my it, it's heaven is not only just my end game i want to get to know how i want to get to know jesus i want to get to know the disciples i want to get to know paul i want to get to know john i want to get to know every other person that that saw jesus i want to get to know abraham you know the seeds and all that other stuff but i just feel like you got to get it together so Stairs are so freaking, oh my goodness. But yeah, I just feel like I'm gonna drop this video out. But I love y'all, man. This has been your boy two times. I got these clothes washed and I'm finna get myself together, get this workout and get in the shower. And um, should I record? I'm gonna get a workout in. I'm gonna show y'all, I'm gonna get a workout. I promise y'all I'm not dirty. I promise y'all, bro. I promise y'all I'm not dirty. All right. Ew. It's hot in here, ain't it? Your mama trying to kill y'all, I know. Before, before we end the video, obviously, I'm gonna say a prayer before we get out, get out of here. It's, I'm going to sweat before anything, but um, let's say a prayer before we, y'all can't see this light, but I'm gonna say it to my scriptures. Y'all remember my scriptures? I know y'all ain't see this in a while, but this, this light ain't making it no better because my head, okay. So let's say this prayer before we go and we out. Heavenly Father, the one that sits on the throne, thank you for first and foremost that this prayer, if it's in your will, may this be heard. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for waking me up by your grace, for waking me up by mercy. I know as a human being, as a sinner, I do not deserve your grace and mercy. Thank you for sending your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, to die for my sins. Jesus knew sin. He did no sin. Thank you for everything you've done. May you mold me and shape me into the man that you want me to be. I cannot ask 
enough that I cannot be in this world without you, God. I need Jesus Christ. I need your son. I need him every day. I need him every second. I, I know for a fact that I have a lot of work that I need to do, but I know that you love me and accept me for who I am. You are the only one that gives me value, and thank you for everything you've done for me, the things that I cannot see you do. Thank you for blessing me and closing the doors that I did not open, that you did not open for me. I know certain things that I have to wait and be patient for you. May you give me the strength, the integrity, the, 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 the strength, the patience, the meekness and patience and love of everything. Thank you for everything you've done, and I love you in the blood of Jesus' name. Amen.